Good morning. I am Astha Mahajan from Kendri Vidyalaya Nasik Road, Kan. Here today we have uh, to study applications of derivative. In previous chapter, uh, we have learned how to find the derivatives of trigonometric, inverse trigonometric, logarithmic, exponential, algebraic functions. Here in this chapter, we will study applications of derivative. These derivatives are useful in many branches like engineering, science, social science, etc. Here we will use derivatives to determine the rate of change of quantities. Uh, let us take some examples. Suppose you are going your school by bicycle and after some time fast wind of storm blooms in opposite of your direction, then what will happen? Definitely your speed will decrease. And if it is in your direction, then speed will increase. One more example, suppose you are swimming in a river and in the direction of stream, then definitely you will feel easy to swim and your speed will increase. And if you are going in the opposite direction of stream, your speed will decrease and you will feel difficult to swim. In these examples, I am using speed is reducing, speed is increasing. Let me take one more example. You are driving a car and after some time, there is a heavy traffic in the road. Then what will you do? Of course, you will apply brake, your speed will reduce. Again, speed word, speed will reduce. Now, what is the speed? Speed is rate of change of distance with respect to the time. This is rate of change of distance with respect to the time. Now, suppose a stone is dropped in quiet lake. What will happen? Uh, there will be waves in this form and waves will move in the direction of circle. As soon as radius increases, area of this circle will increase. So here, area is increasing with respect to the radius. So this is rate of change of radius with uh, rate of sorry rate of change of area with respect to rate of change of radius. Now, here we'll start. rate of change of quantities. Now, suppose the quantity y changes with the change of x and this uh, follows some rule uh, that is uh, a function that is y is a function of x. So, dy by dx is equal to f x plus h minus f x upon h as limit h tends to 0. Here y is dependent of x and y is in the form of x. 
So, rate of change of y with respect to x is d y by d x. So, here we have to discuss rate of change of a quantity with respect to another quantity. Like there are two points A and B and if we have to write the slope of these two points, slope of the line joining these two points is, if we have to write the slope of the line joining these two points that is y 2 minus y 1 upon x 2 minus x 1, this is an uh, coordinate form. Now, suppose this coordinate of this point is x plus h and if this is x and this is f x, then coordinate of point B are f x and f x plus h. Now, slope of the line is f x plus h minus f x upon x plus h minus x and that is h. Suppose this is a function y is equal to f x is a function and this is the curve of this function. A and B are two points on the curve. Called coordinates of A are f x and f x of course, x on x axis and f x on this axis and there is a point B and coordinates of the point B are x plus h and f x plus h. Now, slope of this line A B is this distance upon this distance and this B C is f x plus h minus f x upon x plus h minus x that is h. Now, slope of the tangent is if uh, h tends to 0, 0 means these two points will come close and after some time they will overlap each other and in that case when h tends to 0, this B coincide with A and this line A B will become tangent at point A and tangent at this point is known as d y by d x. So, d y by d x that is change of y with respect to x is f x plus h minus f f x upon h as h tends to 0. Now, if we have to find the slope or d y by d x at a particular point, then we will put the value of that point and we will find it. If two variables x and y varies with respect to a third variable t, t then dy by dx becomes derivative of this dependent variable with respect to t upon derivative of independent with respect to t. Now, if dy by dx of rate of change of y with respect to x is positive, positive means when x increases y increases. Positive means and it is negative, it means when x increases, y decreases. Now, 
let us take some examples Now the question is find the rate of change of area of a circle with respect to its radius when r is equal to 4 now area of the circle is pi r square here a is dependent variable and r is independent variable so da upon dr is 2 pi r here pi as it is derivative of r square is 2r now we have to find this rate of change of area with respect to r when r is equal to 4 cm so it's equal to 2 pi into 4 that is 8 pi cm square now here question is an edge of a variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second how fast is the volume of the cube is increasing when the edge is 10 cm long here this is a cube so and we have to find an edge of a variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second how fast is the volume of the cube is increasing when the edge is 10 cm here we have to find rate of change of volume so volume is side of the cube l cube volume is this so we have to find dv upon dt so differentiate this dv upon dt is 3 l square dl upon dt now rate of change of edge is given 3 cm per second so dv upon dt and we have to find rate of change of volume when edge is 10 cm so dv upon dt when l is equal to 10 is 3 10 square l into 3 so this becomes 900 centimeter cube per second here the ladder is 5 cm long running against a wall the bottom of the ladder is pulled away bottom of the ladder is pulled away from the wall and this at the rate of 2 cm per second now how fast is the height of the wall is decreasing when the foot of the ladder is 4 cm away from the wall here height uh, length of the ladder is given 5 cm then suppose this distance is x this is y here length of the ladder is given 5 cm and suppose this is x cm away from the wall and height of the ladder on the wall is y now and dx upon dt is given so rate rate of this uh, rate is 2 cm per second so dx by dt is given that is 2 cm per second now we have to find the rate of decrease of uh, this ladder on the wall so we have to find dy by dt rate of decrease of height of the wall um, height of the ladder on the wall that is dy by dt now this is a right triangle so 5 square is equal to y square plus 5 square is equal to y square plus x square now dx by dt is given we have to find dy by dt so this 
0 is equal to 2 y, if you differentiate this 2 y dy by dt plus 2 x dx by dt. So, y dy by dt is equal to, we can cancel to, is equal to minus x dx by dt. Here, we want the value of y and x. Now, this 5 square is equal to x square plus y square and we have to find the height, uh, height of the letter decreasing on the wall when this uh, ladder is 4 centimeter away from the wall. So, here 25 that is y, 5 square is 25 is equal to y square plus 4 square that is 16. So, y square is equal to 25 minus 16 and that is 9 is equal to y square. So, y is equal to 3. Here we are taking plus 3 because this is height. So, no need of taking negative sign. So, this uh, height of the ladder is 3. Now, y dy by dt means 3 into dy by dt which we have to find is equal to minus 4 dx by dt is 2. So, minus 4 into 2. So, dy by dt is equal to minus 8 upon 3 centimeter per second. Here dy by dt is negative because it is height is uh, reducing, this uh, ladder is coming downward. So, dy by dt is negative. 